Naperville Central is back at home for the first time in a month, and the Red Hawks are flying high with a 5-1 record and a 3-0 conference slate. They welcome the DeKalb Barbs, a team that is fighting for their playoff lives, sitting at 2-4. The Hawks' game plan, and stop me if you heard this before, let Jack cook. He does, and finds his go-to target, Chris Byrne, for a 44-yard touchdown to put the Hawks up 7-0. 14-0 Central, and the Barbs try to get something going, so Cole Latimer finds his favorite target in Devon Grant for a 31-yard play that puts the Calb in enemy territory. Although the Hawks activate the no-pass zone, Nick Zabilet makes a fantastic play knocking the ball out of Grant's hands. Barbs can't find the end zone, and Central takes over. They are backed up, but Aiden Clark continues to do Aiden Clark things. He takes the handoff and finds a hole, and he is off to the races. Clark has nothing but green grass in front of him, and it's an 85-yard house call for the junior. It's 21-0 Central. Defense remains in check, and Jake Stanis strip sacks Latimer, and Maverick only recovers the pigskin. Cook continues to stir the pot, and he finds Byrne for a 25-yard touchdown. This is the sixth time these two have found the zone, and it puts NC up 28-0. Barbs are looking for anything. Vladimir takes a shot for a target, but throws it too high, and Nate Monken says, I'll take that. The score remains 28-0 Central at the break. New half, same Central defense. Vladimir throws into no man's land and Aiden Sheehy makes the interception. The Red Hawks defense is showing no love to their opponents. The offense rewards the defense and Cook throws his third touchdown of the game with this one to Colton Lenz. Another strong game for Central gives them a 42-0 win and their first outright DVC title since 2018. It's great. It's been a while when we had all three trophies at our place now. I mean, we got Crofttown, we got Niqua, and we're bringing the DVC home. And since the DVC is getting demolished, and it's just nice to keep our own keep our own trophy back at home. So it means a lot to me and the whole program. We've been told all week not to let up. Um, I mean, we know we know that we're a better team than them, but you know anything that can happen. So we play to our own standards of football. And we, our own standards of playing violent, physical. And once we play our own kind of football, there's, really, there's not really any team in the state that could beat us. So we knew how to play today. We play for each other. We play for the school. It definitely brought a lot of energy on our sidelines and for our team. We've been working for this all off season uh, since February. We've been lifting and working our heart, working our butt offs for this moment. And this isn't the peak of our season. There's definitely more to come, but this is definitely a milestone we wanted to get to and a big night for us on homecoming. We preach selflessness and doing our job. And you know, the scout guys have really gotten us prepared and we just do what we need to on the field. 